Well, welcome to uh, Saturday evening at uh, the Adventure Bike Riders Festival here in Ragley Hall in Warwickshire. Now I've been here since Thursday morning. I've had a really, really good show so far. So what I thought I'd do is I'd, uh, I'll give you my opinion on this show. Done a lot of videoing in the last few days. I've been out for bike rides, a couple. Um, I've gone round, I've been speaking to people, and uh, now I'm going to give you a review of the good points and the bad points. First, the good points. The, the organisation of the whole event has been really good. Where there's been a problem, they've been very reactive. They've got most of it right to start with. Um, one of the points that were picked up on fairly early on, we arrived Thursday morning with um, a couple of thousand, I think, I think there was about 5,000, maybe around about 5,000 tickets sold for the VIP day on the Thursday. And the, the ride-in started at eight o'clock. So we all met up down the bottom field and eight o'clock, flag goes down and there was a procession into the park. From there, registration was really good, very quick. Just queued up, signed a bit of paper, you check your, your, your VIP pass and your weekend pass. They gave you your bits to stick on your bike, your wristband, um, and then pointed you in the direction of this particular field, which is the VIP tent area. Now, the first thing we noticed that there wasn't an awful lot of ablutions uh, for the amount of tents that were here. Now, what they did do is they brought in some extra, extra toilets, um, which hopefully, uh, and have always been fairly busy. There are quiet periods during the day when the, the showers are a bit quiet, but first thing in the morning, they're really busy. First thing in the morning, they're laying on free tea and coffee. While, you, while you're waiting to, while you're queuing up to go and have your showers and, and stuff like that, there is free tea and coffee, which is a positive. And that is across all the campsites, and that, they're situated by the ablutions. There is fresh water, drinking water, that you get access to. Um, what else can I say? Yet, from that point of view, they, they've been reactive where they've seen the need, they've brought extras in. Um, I had a chat with Alan's son, who helps organise this. Alan is the guy that came up with this in the first place and has been a driving force ever since. I asked them about phone signals. The phone signal's pretty, pretty sort of poor. There's a 4G signal, but because there's so many people trying to get on it, there, it does, it, it, it's slow. Quite a lot of the time you can't get, you can't get on. So, uh, and I mentioned that and they said, well, we've, they've approached the, um, the phone companies to see if they could put in these temporary aerials. But the, the phone companies want somewhere around about £300,000 for the weekend, which, unless they put the ticket price up a huge amount, isn't practicable. But because this site has a lot of big events like this, it would make sense if, if they put some permanent masts here don't know whether that, that will happen, but that's, that's only a minor thing. The idea is that I mean, you get away for the weekend, don't you? You can leave work and everything at home. You don't actually need, I mean, when I have needed to, to call home and, and have a chat with Lady Hill, I've been able to get through, no problem at all. Um, in the mornings, I've managed to just get on the, the internet just to check my emails. Because you do, didn't you? 
that's what life's about. So that's just a, a minor thing, but the rest of it has been really, really good. Now, from the event side of stuff, now, when you, when you register, when you sign in, they give you a little leaflet, uh, a pocket map of um, and what's on, on what different stage. Now, they've got several different stages down there. Now, I will say that you can't get to see everything, which is a shame because there's a lot of good stuff going on. So, um, then you've got the, the first one is the, uh, the bike head stage. And I think that is the main event stage where all the bands and everything get on there. So Friday there was the ZZ Top um, started off. Uh, then there was the Cream of Clacton, then Coda, whoever they are. Then you've got Quode. Quode was good. I caught a bit of them. Uh, and then they got Let Be DC. So that's a takeoff of ACDC. And they were quite good as well. Um, that was Friday. I mean, Thursday night there was uh, definitely Maybe, which was o Oasis, tribute band. Orange River Remedy, I don't know who they were. And then there was the Police Forced, which was obviously the police. And then Dr. Feelgood. And that all finishes about uh, 11 o'clock at night. Oh, it's <laughs> The one downside for me is the hay fever. <laughs> hay fever is killing me. Something you have to live with. So Saturday night, um, so Saturday night they've got the conks started off at, at uh, lunchtime. Then they had the Red Hot Chili Peppers UK on at uh, three o'clock. Five o'clock they got the Smiths. And then at uh, seven o'clock they got U2 UK and finishing off with a decades band. So there's a lot going on on the main stage. If you if competing with Glastonbury, personally I think there's no comparison. This is so much better than Glastonbury. The big difference between this and Glastonbury is that when we leave on Sunday, there's hardly any rubbish left behind us. When they leave on Sunday from Glastonbury, it's like World War Three's taken place. And the sum was tidier when they left it. So and then you come on to some of the stages. So you've got the, uh, the ABR speakers um, stage, which is really good, there's a big tent. Lots of headliners in there. Then you've got the Royal Enfield Masterclass stage and you can learn lots of stuff from different people on that. Then you've got uh, the Bridgestone stage uh, with Lisa and Simon Thomas. And I've been to some of these, I've been to some of the talks. Really, really informative, really good. And then there's a, the, um, the new one for this year, the Traveller's Tent. Now, I've been in there for a couple of things, and that's a real chilled out atmosphere. It's run by James. Um, interviewed James on day one. Uh, really nice guy. Then you've got the trail. So you've got the Bridgestone Trail. Then there's the, uh, the TRF Trail, which is the, uh, the Green, Green Laners Trial. Then you've got the Go, GoPro, uh, and they're doing stuff on uh, today in the display arena and then up in the hall itself there's some stuff going on up there the uh, adventure film festival um, there's, a, there's a photo exhibition up there and then you've got a street food and the the sparta bars and yeah everything <laughs> the food this year the, the prices have gone up slightly um, from previous years. The beer prices are pretty good, £4 a pint. Can't complain too much there, can you? So, on the whole, it's, it's really well done. And I say, 
on, on the map here, it gives you um, then a map of the whole site and what's available and what's where. So, from an organisation point of view, from a, a way of getting around, there's your key, that's the map. And they've already, get this, already announced the dates for next year. So next year, ABR Festival for 2025 is going to be the 26th to the 29th of June. Tickets go on sale on the 1st of July. And there's a right little billy bonus for us um, return offenders, <laughs> habitual offenders. We get a loyalty discount. So I should be booking my ticket next week for next year. Um, like I said, this is my third festival. And it is brilliant. I mean, what's not to like? 15,000 like-minded people, all bike uh, orientated, different types of bikes. They've got the little Honda 50s up to the, the very latest of 1300 GSs and um, all the big manufacturers are here. Some of the small manufacturers are here and you can book test rides. Now the test rides, obviously they're, they're fairly limited, but you persevere, turn up early enough, you can book onto these rides. I managed to book on two rides myself, no problems at all. Um, and I've gone out and have enjoyed the rides. I've sp spoken to people that have been out on several different rides and you just have to turn up early, be prepared to queue for a little bit and you'll get the ride and you'll generally get onto the bikes that you want to get onto. You go around the show, you can talk to people. The food, the food stalls are, are all very good. The, the prices are, what, are probably just a little bit less than what you'd expect from a lot of um, events like this. Glastonbury, I'm sure the prices are twice as high um, because that's, they have to cater for cleaning up the site after, I guess. But the beer prices, you can't complain at £4 a pint, can you? It's almost like going to Witherspoons. <laughs> My overall impression of this year's um, Adventure Bike Riders Festival 2024 is bigger. Is it better? It's, um, what can I say? Last year it was 12,000, the year before 8,000. It's becoming very popular. One thing I have noticed this year, there are a lot more people turning up with camper vans and caravans than motorbikes. That's what it appears. It just appears that there's a lot more camper vans and stuff like that. There's still a huge amount of motorcycles, motorcycle tents. Not, I'm so quite surprised. Lots and lots and lots and lots of um, Lone Rider Moto Tents, lots of them, really is. So I'm quite pleased that I've made a good choice in the tent and lots of people uh, agree with me. So I think that's me, I'm just winding up this 2024 Adventure Bike Riders Festival and for me, if I pay full price, obviously I've got uh, the, the discount because I booked A early and B um, you got that little bit extra because you're a ret returner, you're habitual. Uh, had I paid full price I would have still been very happy and the full price for the whole weekend isn't that bad. It's about, I think it's about £124 something like that for a full weekend terrific so if, if you I mean, and I are in whether to come to the Adventure Bike Riders Festival you ride a motorbike 
you don't mind a, a couple of days under canvas or if you've got a camper van and you like motorbikes and you want to come and sample what it's all about do it so tickets go on sale next week <laughs> be warned <laughs> the longer you leave it the more the price goes up so that's me from this year's ABR Festival, the Adventure Bike Riders Festival 2024. So, I hope you like the reviews, hope you've liked what you've seen. Um, if you have, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate the thumbs up. I appreciate comments even more. And if you do comment, I'll promise I'll get back to you on a comment. I'll, I'll like your comment or dislike your comment, <laughs> it depends whether it's derogatory or not, but I will come back to you in the comments and uh, we can have that dialogue. So hopefully you take an inspiration from this little adventure that I've been on this week or this weekend and um, you'll come and join us next year at 2025. Thank you for indulging. TTFN, ta-da for now.